Okay. I just got done weight training at our secluded little 24 hour fitness and I know I wasn't supposed to eat out during the weekdays or even the weekends I'm strict but had a little incident where uh, oh, he's... I got a letter in the mail and I was lucky enough to get uh, possibly nominated to be uh, served jury duty and I was very happy about that and uh, I told Rachel if I call in and then I don't have to be called to uh, do the jury duty. We're gonna, we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna have a celebratory dinner post workout. So I called in and they don't need my services, which I'm really disappointed about because I really wanted to just take up my entire day without my cell phone and just help these people out. So we're gonna celebrate here at Black Bear Diner and try to get something healthy. And I think they have baked potatoes here, so this is a good thing. This is what we got. Dry baked potato. Bun, yes, there's a little cheese on there. No mayonnaise, no sauce, chicken breast, vegetables, extra chicken breast, honey Dijon, barbecue for dipping. So there's the meal. Rachel got the same meal. There was a brioche bun, it was buttery. We want to be safe, so we got the dry bun, less fat. She got the salad, bacon ranch, diet pop. That's what you do for your celebratory dinner for not having jury duty. You celebrate here. <laughs> That's the reward. You see it. There it is. I wanted to get my nails done before I leave tonight for a bachelorette party in Seattle. So this guy party is going to get two, baby. his nails done with me, or at least a pedicure. I'm going to leave my nails because I got them done at my um, other place, Modern Nails LV. Uh, last two weeks ago so I'm just gonna leave those and get those done next week and he's we're just gonna do pedicures right are they gonna take out the drill like dumb and dumber with my toenails I mean I think they're gonna get a cheese grater for you like a sander because they're pretty bad so we'll see what they turn out like oh I gotta look good for my we're party not, this weekend they're, whenever so, you're <laughs> they're so gross that we're not even gonna show you the before we'll just show you his after no they look like wood chips for nails <laughs> I have wood chip toenails so <laughs> no, that's bad. Just finished our nails. How'd that go? Um, to Did be you? quite honest, I had to I started to have to pee and then um the oatmeal made me a little gassy and I had to hold my stomach in and I felt a little uncomfortable. Actually, so I didn't have a good start. Feet, how did the feet go? It was okay, it was good, I needed it. Like I said, my feet were a disaster. Can we see? Still not very pretty. But from what they were, <laughs> a lot better. I we see that before now. Sparkly. All right, guys, just dropped off Rachel from the airport. On my own, once again, another weekend of bachelor life, doing crazy things that I shouldn't be doing, like going to the gym right now. Thought I was gonna take a day off. Uh, my chest tendon, for whatever reason, sore. So it kind of freaks me out when I started warming up for chess the other day. I quit and then did an audible and started training back instead because I just don't want any more depressing things happening like an injury. So whatever reason, my chest tendon's really tight. Um, so I went and trained back. So to, to the night, I thought I was going to take a day off. But of course, I'm by myself. So I'm going to train and do bodybuilding things the whole weekend, which is what I always do. But I'm going to even do it more so because Rachel's gone. And I can just be... Uh, doing things on my own and not worry about giving attention to her. So, uh, tonight I'm going to try to shoulder, to work shoulders, do some shoulder presses, uh, miscellaneous stuff like traps and abs, 
Uh, probably going to jump on a hit cardio session as well. I've just been doing cardio or hit cardio upon waking every morning once a day so far on the spin cycle for 16 minutes. Uh, tonight I'm going to hit up the elliptical and do what I like to do on the elliptical with, of course, uh, not the rowing motion, but just the elliptical without the row, rowing motion and um, see what I do there. So far, honestly, once again, my mindset when I'm, uh, I'm all or nothing. So whenever I flip the switch on and I'm, I'm dieting now and I'm not seeing like incredible results like ASAP, my mind, you know, I'm either... Once I start something, now I expect results within like seconds. So a little disappointed, you know, like looking at the mirror every day and just not seeing. Or what I'll do is here's here's the the worst thing. I'll I'll think I see something good in the mirror, or or you know what's reflecting back at me. Then I'll take a picture, and then I'm like, oh my god, I did not. That's not what I just saw in the mirror. Like uh, that's small and really flat and stupid looking. In reality, that's just what I look like. I just see something different, perhaps, in the mirror than what reality is telling me from the picture. So that part really, really fucking sucks, to be quite honest with you. Um, you know, I started my testosterone a while ago now, six, seven weeks. Just started growth a couple days ago, my two IUs. Um, and it's like my mind expects me to be like, boom, big bubbly three-dimensional mat of old. And that's just not the case. Um, the cool thing is... Um, I'm at a point where I'm I'm healthy with these levels so far, and I'm at a stage where I can maybe slowly implement certain things, you know. And I know in the beginning everything's changed, guys. That have gone through this where I said I'm not going to do TRT, I'm not going to do this, you know. Obviously, as you go through things and you realize that uh, life is pretty miserable whenever your hormones are screwed up, uh, you're going to change your mind. But as far as adding things in, what I mean by that is. Uh, since my base level at test is around 800 nanograms per deciliter, I'm um, gonna do the two IUs of growth, let the, let the two IUs do its thing for about six to eight weeks or so, we'll see and see what happens there. Then I can I can bump my growth hormone and I'll just be honest with everyone, and I'll say I'm doing it, bump it to four IUs and we can see what happens at just four IUs of growth with normal testosterone, not not super physiological levels to see if, you know, what, what can happen on just keeping your testosterone healthy with other parameters, healthy, your blood pressure, and just raising your GH a little bit to see if you can uh, have a little synergy there and see if I can get some more growth or more composition change. Hell, maybe even, here's another scenario. Uh, since I am like a clean slate per se, I like to use the example of like I'm a blank canvas um, right now. I, back in the day, whenever I would do my cycles for my contest preps, you know, I, I just like anyone else, I would stack things where you don't really know the true effects of certain drugs because you're on so many other drugs. So if I'm taking for pre-contest back in the day, testosterone plus trinanthate plus this plus that, and then I want to, oh, I got some primobolin, even if it is real primobolin, which is probably not. I wouldn't know and differentiate what the Prima Bolin was doing once I added it in. I mean, I'm just putting it in there because, hell, why not? It's a hardener, DHT derivative. Might as well add it in. It's pre-contest. That's the mindset that we have. But none of us can really differentiate what Primo does because we're taking so many other things. So it would be cool to acquire something like an exotic, clean, healthy compound like a Prima Bolin, a thenolone and anthate and actually run it kind of on its own just with a test, you know, my normal TRT levels and see what happens with just a Prima Bolin at like 300, 400 milligrams or 200 milligrams, something small and really get its true gauge of what it can do. Same with Oxandrolone, of course, also known as Anivar. It'd be cool to add that in. I mean, all these years I've had an Anivar in, but I've also had Trin and all these other pre-contest things in the equation. So it's really hard to differentiate. But if I added in a really healthy, I want to say healthy dose, but I mean, I think Anivar is the, one of the more healthy compounds, same with Primabolin, but something like 30 to 50 milligrams of Anivar just by itself with the testosterone and see what that changes as far as the physique, you know, if, given it's real Oxandrolone, which once again, Oxandrolone and Primabolin is harder to come by because it's expensive raw material. That would be cool to me and that'd be cool for the viewers, for you guys to actually see someone like myself who has experience and like, knows my body really well. So if I add something like that in, I can say, hey guys, like Prima Bowling, if it's the real deal, and I'll do a, a lab max test or a ROID test, the color coordination test to see if it's actually real meth methanolone, all that stuff. That'd be kind of cool for you guys to see. Um, and I'll just be candid and honest what I'm doing. You know, I'm not gonna try to hide anything. Um, I think stuff like that in the future could be pretty cool. So um, I've, you know, the if enough, enough, as much as I know about Primobolin and Anivar, I haven't seen a lot of people's blood works whenever I have researched it that's done solo cycles. 
uh, where anything's really crazy out of whack. Opposed to something dirty and cheap like a testosterone or a trimbolone or DECA, those things are cheaper and, and honestly, they, the cheaper drugs do come with more side effects as far as cholesterol or a, skewing your cholesterol levels, your blood pressure from water retention, aromatase conversion, something clean like Primabol or Anivar might have DHT side effects as far as like oily skin and could inflame the prostate and stuff like that. But uh, in the grand scheme of things, if you do your searching around, then you'll notice that a lot of the side effects aren't as prevalent in those expensive exotic products. So that's just something I've been pondering. Obviously, um, I think it'd be very interesting to see how I respond to that. So um, I will keep everyone posted if I do experiment with something like that. For right now, we're trying to milk what we can out of the testosterone, the interaction of growth, see what happens there. And um, we're going to go work out right now and have a really, really just fun, entertaining party weekend right now while Rachel's gone. All right, guys, we're going to bring you along with a in the life, the real life interval in the 45 15 cadence on the elliptical that I always preach to do all my clients so you're gonna see me at work from this view here we go five more seconds to 15 here we go Oh my god. Some tough shit. There you go. 45-15 on the good old pre-core. You can rest my arms, rest your upper body, and absolutely annihilate your legs. Look like a nutcase, but who cares? So you know I'm doing it too with you guys. Quite possibly the most imperative imperative sauce for all meals right here so it's wise to stock up just stock up guys these bad boys go by fast these squeeze bottles mm. all right just got done with a little bit of arm training tonight I've already done arms like, I'm just kind of pumped right now. Done arms like uh, almost three times this week because my damn chest tendon hurts and my shoulder hurts. So I'm just training what doesn't hurt more often. Right now it's uh, almost 10 p.m. And I'm going to go to a place I've only been to once by my place, by my house, uh, called Wahoo's. Wahoo's Fish Tacos. However, if I'm not mistaken, they have some pretty healthy options as far as like white fish, rice vegetables black beans basic stuff it's kind of sick of teriyaki boy just because it's chicken and rice i mean how how fun can that be right but this place actually has a variety of white fishes if i'm not mistaken uh so i will order that take get it to go go back home i got emails to do i got some plans to set up junior nationals is in one week i got people have shows there's pretty much shows every weekend so every weekend i'm pretty much getting broken sleep um, even when I could get good sleep because I actually have the potential to sleep through the night now but I have to get broken sleep and set my alarm because I have to check on people in different time zones so that can be a little chaotic but um, got to do what you got to do to be on point with people um, so I will fill you guys in on what I order and let you check out Wahoo's Fish Tacos alright guys here we are at Wahoo's Fish uh, Tacos bright blue sign behind me and uh, it's actually open till 2 a.m. because there's a bar obviously but they still serve the same uh, the same food every uh, hour that they're open so nothing changes and we're gonna go in and get a bite to eat at 11 o'clock at night all right we got the wahoos in full effect we got ono fish white rice black beans and I got two meals because I'm gonna have uh, another meal tomorrow Salmon, smoky, get down, get down. Salmon, white rice, and uh, some slaw, which I probably won't eat. Sam so all this, guys, two meals for $19. Not bad. And this psycho right here. 
This is probably one of my not so good of decisions for videos to watch, Branch Warren, because if I watch him and I actually program anything that he does into my head, guarantee getting injured the next workout. In this video, it's actually funny, the Unchain. It's so ridiculous. Those, I gotta, I'll film the part that they uh, literally just throw a bench across the room for actually no apparent reason. Like they could have just moved it or slid it over, but they literally like body slam an, a tire bench press. As you can see, they're just kind of slamming it around. It's, it's so unnecessary, but I will show it later. It's pretty hilarious. My chest, my joint hurts just watching this. Oh, and of course, we got the Diet Vanilla Coke Zero. Got to have that ice cold. All right, guys, here's the most unnecessary gym etiquette ever. Totally unnecessary. They're just working chest. Just trying to clear clear some room for the bench, and this is what they do. Why? Why did he need to throw that squat bar so damn far with that hex bar? He absolutely chucked that thing and then ended up knocking over an incline bench and its barbell with no shits given. I wonder if Ryan Dobson's fucking pissed. Or I wonder if they actually train like this without the camera on them and they throw shit around. All right, it's a Saturday afternoon. I'm actually, uh, I got, I'm hooking up with my training partner that I was training with before all this chaos happened, of course, like nine months ago when I first moved to Vegas. Uh, I'm hooking up with my buddy, John Fournier, and we're gonna do legs today, so it'll be my first real leg day and I don't know how long, you know, because I've been doing it solo, building up slowly. So of course I'm, uh, yeah, eight months later and I'm still late to the training session like always so I'm sure he'll be used to that and um, we're gonna bang out some legs today and hopefully I don't push myself to like where I injure myself because I'll be more motivated today uh, had horrible night's sleep last night simply because I took some Cialis being a dumb typical bodybuilder experiment experimenting wanting a pump wanting to see if it'll give me a cosmetic effect and of course the recreational benefits too um, you know you know what I'm talking about uh, however the side effects for Cialis for some people are very severe for me I'm one of those people the unfortunate people that get uh, muscle cramps uh, especially or namely uh, lower back cramps and leg cramps where it, it's throbbing throughout the entire night and it literally disrupts my entire sleep so I had to deal with that crap for all last night and yeah I had to succumb to a freaking ibuprofen which I'm not I'm not fond of but I had to do it to try to rest uh, broken sleep all night um, feels better today because it's been over 36 hours it's going on two days so it's getting out of my system but man that sucks if you guys have ever had any side effects from Cialis if you played around with that stuff um, the body cramps the muscle the muscular cramps are very severe for some people and I'm one of them so I might just take Cialis at like a uh, microdose five milligrams for prostate health and uh, blood pressure but anything over 20, 20 to 25 milligrams and I'm toast. So uh, we're at the stoplight here, I'm late of course, and we will bang out some legs. Uh, don't think I'm gonna have any footage of it because we don't have Rachel here to film it, but uh, I'll go ahead and embellish and, and basically fabricate the workout and make it sound really cool after I'm done and I'll tell you stuff that I probably didn't even do. Just kidding, all right, okay. All right, guys, just got done with uh, my leg training workout with Big John right here. Yo! Big John, also known no, as Gator. Little John. <laughs> yeah, right. Big John. Big John to me. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm not fabricating. This man pushed me to my limits, and I actually did 365, three plates of 25, John? 365. For 15 reps. 15. He almost basically put me in a cardiac arrest because of that. But this is more to come. Uh, he's motivating me to get back into it more and push myself harder. So look out for Big John. Big John, when are you going to make a comeback? Uh, I don't know. When are you going to sponsor me? I'm broke. I'm a broke hey, fat kid. <laughs> hey, I heard business is doing good for you. Yeah. You're running things here in Vegas. Not at all. 
<laughs> All right, well, this guy will be a big super heavyweight next time he steps on stage. Look forward to that. And uh, we're going to get some teriyaki boy. Nothing nothing fancy here, guys. Just some chicken and rice. Maybe a J bowl for Big John here. Maybe a little little a little boy bowl for me. I don't know if oh, I'll be able to eat that. He's paying. He's big money. <laughs> All right, guys, just got uh, back from Sprouts Market. Of course, I saw some cool things. And I will show you what I went and bought whenever I get home. But right now, Good old Smokey ran out of hard food, so I gotta go to Petco across the street here and pick up the Smokester some hard food because he's just been living lavishly on pate wet food. And um, I didn't think I was gonna be cute here and stick to basic stuff, but I just saw some cool things at Sprouts that I, I'm gonna throw in the diet. So we'll go over it whenever I get home. All right. Just got in getting Smokey's food. Snacking on some delicious turkey jerky pineapple flavor kind of addicted to jerky anytime I go into a freaking grocery store I come out with some new weird flavor um you know now that Rachel's gone and I'm a bachelor here for the weekend you know part of me doesn't even want to go home right now and I kind of just want to go to the mall and be impulsive and buy some Jordans and maybe some other cool things but I can't do that because then if I do that Rachel will find out, and then and then I'll have to buy her equal stuff at Nordstrom, and then it turns into a big mess. So the impulsive bachelor in me wants to go just pussyfoot around and walk around aimlessly and look at things I probably don't need. Um, but I'm gonna be smart and not spend any money and go home. And I have a lot of there's always stuff to do. So there's obviously emails always, but I need to get started on a brand new product write up. For something that's coming out hopefully very soon so I have the ingredients locked down the formulas locked down I just need to do the write-up for it so just to let everyone watching out there know everything you see as far as my supplement line I'm always providing the write-ups any information it's not like some someone under us a an R&D research and developer and, and some guy with ad write or um, ad copy marketing uh, writing stuff for me it's it's all from up here and I put everything down uh, in a document basically uh, transcended over to the write-up on the website so I'm going to get started on that because I need to get going get my references all that jazz and um, it's gonna be a cool product I'm not gonna give out give away really anything uh, it's not you know I always I'm always honest so it's not gonna be like Oh my god, this is groundbreaking new new crazy in ingredients. Although there is one ingredient that is real actually relatively new. It's been around for like only 2 years. Uh, I like the research on it. I won't give away what it is, but it's not solo. It's in conjunction with other ingredients that are proven that has been around for years. So that's nothing groundbreaking, but it's solid and it's derived from in my opinion the best source possible. And it is a legit pharmaceutical grade, uh, upwards 98% or more. There's a certain process to claim pharmaceutical grade. And of course, you know, I will have exactly that. I'm not going to, and I'm going to back it up. I'm not just going to say it and just hope no one calls me out on it. Um, I'll just leave it at that, but it's going to be just a solid product. Um, you know, I always like to think of whenever you get top notch ingredients, USA derived or wherever that's, that's researched and, and whether it's patented or trademarked. Um, here's a higher price tag, but I think you feel good as a consumer, you know, getting the higher quality. You get what you pay for, and that's so true. Why would you rather buy something cheap that's, that's a deal, that's not patented or trademark or derived from China or doesn't have the best purity? If it costs 35 bucks and you were too cheap to get the thing that's 70 bucks, yet for the thing for 35 bucks, it's not even effective. It could be bunk, impure, uh, counterfeit, or whatever, and so you just wasted, you took a lighter or a match to your $35, but it was $35. It was half off the really good stuff. At least with the really good stuff, you're actually using it and it's having an effect on your body because it's proven dosages and all that stuff. So, you know, anyone, I know, you know, bodybuilders are cheap and, you know, young consumers, younger, uh, early 20s into their teens, you know, you're trying to find a deal, but save up, get nothing or get something good. I'd rather you get nothing at all than to take a match to your money. That's just my thoughts. All right. What did I get at the grocery store? Sprouts Market. I will tell you what I got. So, we got ground chicken breasts. So, lean ground chicken breasts. I prefer chicken breasts ground because 
I've been having very bad luck with chicken breasts lately, like the strips or the breast hole or the tenders. I seem to always get the gross pieces that are like basically marbled and they're gristly and I get a chewy bite and then it just ruins chicken for me. But the ground uh, chicken breast is great. I think chicken's a great protein source. I think it's a staple. I just, I was turned off by the texture and just really grossed me out, but the uh, ground is excellent. And that's at Sprouts. Of course, we got the 99% brown turkey breast, which is worse tasting than the chicken, but is slightly leaner by like a gram of fat per ounce. We can even mix both because they're brown and have two different sources of protein in one, in one meal. So the possible benefits of having uh, two different protein sources in one meal, um, each complete, complete protein source has a complete amino acid profile. However, individual aminos are different potency per protein source. So let's say chicken has a higher methionine content while turkey has lower methionine but higher lysine. And so there's trade-offs. And basically if you mix them together, it can fill potential gaps or deficiencies. So you know what that manifests into in the long run, bodybuilders that are gung-ho, they have the extra time. Why not if there's a 1% chance of having better recovery or muscle growth to mix proteins, why not? Uh, so you can do it with the uh, ground, any types of meats, you know, it's just kind of more convenient with both are ground, they're the same texture, you can mix them together. Uh, another thing you can do is add like a half scoop of whey isolate to like your chicken meal to kind of have the amino acid profile from the whey, then the amino acid profile from the chicken, combine those, what have you. Yes, we got Tilcrapia. This Tilcrapia says some pretty nice things on the, on the uh, label here. I don't know how true it is or if it matters or if they're still infested with feces, but it's uh, all natural premium loins and cuts. And it says not all tilapia are created equal, no additives, preservatives, blah, blah, blah. And it says, uh, what else does it say? It says uh, grown in pristine lakes, very pristine, with no antibiotics or growth hormone. Another little sticker that says farm responsibly certified uh, ASC-aqua.org, responsibly farm. So maybe there's not fecal matter in here, whatever, I don't really care, because you know what the whole, uh, the whole thing with tilapia guys has been kind of perpetrated throughout social media. Yeah, it's a shitty fish for the most part, but we aren't eating, well, hopefully we're not. If we eat it sporadically, the amount of uh, crap that's in there and the rachidonic acid from the uh, omega-6 content, the omega-6 content's low no matter what because the total fat's low in general, so you aren't really deriving that much pro-inflammatory fats for them, uh, for the tilapia, but um, you know, in, in actuality, as long as you aren't doing a kai green and eating like 10 pounds of tilapia a day chronically, a little bit of tilapia is not gonna be the worst thing for you. In fact, I could even make an argument that it might promote more uh, muscle, uh, muscle gain from the fact that it is a pro-inflammatory and high in arachidonic acid, which would cause more muscle breakdown anabolic steroids would build up the muscle that much more once they're broken down. So that's that. Now, we got um, not skinny beef because I'm waiting on my skinny beef order, but there's another 98% lean beef, uh, Spring Springer Hill Ranch brand, 98% guys, two little chubs or tubes of yak. We got, okay. Oh, of course, we got uh, purple yams, purple sweet potatoes. And the uh, reason I got these is because, well, they're purple. And if I post them on social media, um, just the fact that they're purple and they look really healthy, it draws attention and I get more likes. Okay, uh, that's kind of true. Anything you post something, if you post something cuter or kind of out of the ordinary, people think it's really cool. But the truth of the matter is, besides the cool color, um, nutrient rich, I've gone over this before, a lot of different uh, antioxidant components of the uh, sweet potato. Usually when the more uh, vibrant and bright something is rich with color, there's more vitamins and antioxidants, etc. So my whole thing right now, guys, with choosing carb, my main carb sources are sweet potato, any variety, um, and oatmeal. I'm doing a lot of oatmeal, so I have my steel cut oats and my uh, gluten-free cracker. It's not that I give a crap about gluten. Uh, I just grabbed them. And my whole thing with these carbs right now, guys, is uh, anyone that's known me in the past and watched my old videos when I was competing at a high level at the USA's and all that stuff, um, I didn't care about carb, uh, basically carb nutrition. The nutrients that were in the carbs, I could care less about. I ate white rice, waxy maize, kids cereals, because all I cared about wasn't internal health, I cared about what it did cosmetically. Therefore, I had the rice, and I could pretty much do whatever I wanted, because it'd go to muscle glycogen, and I could burn off as fuel. 
I had growth hormone at a good amount in me for I use. I had all my testosterone, my trend or whatever I was doing and I could just metabolize all that crap. So why not? I just wanted to digest something fast so I just did care about the nutritious portion of the carbohydrate. Now that I'm more conscious about health and I want to do things you know, as healthy as I can, I want my carbs to pack some nutrition. So that's why I'm adding sweet potatoes and not white potatoes. Even though white potatoes have good nutrition, like I said, things with more color should help with uh, antioxidant health and all that stuff. Obviously, oatmeal could help with cholesterol from the fiber, so I'm doing oatmeal and sweet potatoes. And I'll be honest with you guys, my digestion isn't the best with it right now. I'm gonna really try to give it a good amount of time to become acclimated to it, but the high fiber is making me a little bit bloated. But I really want to rely on just good quality nutrition. And that means nutritious carbs, not just, I wanna say empty carbs, but you know, the white rice, as much as I love it, the bagels, maybe post-workout, okay? But throughout the day, bang out the old oatmeal and the sweet potatoes are good. I do have some bread here, guys. This isn't your normal bullshit bread. Um, Angelic Bakehouse, it is rye, sprouted rye. This is ingredients. Whole sprouted grains of red wheat berries, quinoa, oat, oat groats, rye berries, barley, aranthan, or uh, amaranthan, whatever it's called, millet, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's, you know, it's not a bunch of crap in here. It's probably not the best tasting bread, but I'm gonna toast it. And uh, this is just another version of it. I think this is also rye. Or no, this is seven grain sprouted reduced sodium. Um, same type of thing, guys. It, it's not enriched and a bunch of crap in here. This is, uh, I think this would be on par with the oatmeal per se. Um, just, there's actually, it's packing a punch with nutrition with these carbs. And then we have just, you know, some kind of convenient food. Uh, mesquite smoked turkey, nitrate free turkey, and uh, peppered smoked turkey breast. And these are all reduced sodium, so reduced sodium, no added nitrates, um, chicken breast. So just convenient, fresh uh, deli meats that are low sodium. That's always easy, put some mustard on there, you're good. Uh, what else, oh yeah, I got just unflavored, or it's vanilla, but it's unsweetened, uh, plain almond milk. Uh, just to make my protein shakes, as everyone knows, I like to mix them with ice and make things kind of like a malt or a smoothie per se, and enjoy it like a milkshake. So that's that, and I did get something a little cute, but not that cute. Roasted organic red potatoes, and it shows a picture of these beautiful golden crusted potatoes that you would think you'd look up in the ingredients, and there would be canola oil and a bunch of crap and seasoning, but all that there is, guys, is ingredients. Organic red potatoes. That's it. So um, they're roasted, they're pre-roasted, so maybe they're gonna have a nice caramelization or a nice uh, crust to them. I don't know, I'm gonna find out. And then there is also uh, organic sweet potato slices. And once again, just pretty much organic sweet potatoes and um, sea salt, organic black pepper. Also, they're already roasted, so they have the nice brown marks. They're just appealing, it looks good, convenient. They're organic. Uh, so there you go, that's the kind of the brunt of the cuteness right here is this. And then I got some more, like a, you know, beef jerky. I'm a fanatic. Smoked peppered bison jerky by uh, Durham Ranch. And that just about does it. And of course, cottage cheese, nothing special there. And asparagus. And so there you have it. That's, uh, like I said, I was thinking about setting myself in stone with a solid diet with exact macros. Don't think I want to do that just yet. I think I still want to kind of free ball it with just these healthy foods, train my butt off. Like I said earlier, I worked out with my old training partner here. And I hadn't done, you know, three and a quarter of 365 for so, I don't even know how long. And he was able to push me. I didn't do that, you know, until he was like behind me telling me to do it. And I just want to really train as hard as I can and not be put limitations on my amounts of food just yet. Might cruise some body fat, hopefully not. I got my prescription growth hormone, two I use. Hopefully that'll put my body, uh, my body composition in check. Um, but once I get solidified in accruing old mass, perhaps through hard training and just diet, then I might put some limits and say, okay, here we go, guys. We're gonna go for, you know, we're gonna go for a cut or a recomposition where I'm actually tracking X amount of carbs, fats, and protein. This is my phase one, um, you know, 400 carbs, this, that, and the other. We'll go over each meal, and each meal will be seven or eight meals a day, or whatever it is, set in stone, documented, all that stuff. But right now, I'm still kind of filling things out and filling myself out, or filling myself out, as far as getting a little bigger. Um, hopefully, the, the growth 
you know, does a little something. Two, I use as a much and, you know, be all honest with you guys, let you in on some personal things. Uh, whenever I first started growth hormone, when I was competing and trying, you know, to get to the highest level possible, I never really went much over four IUs. I started at four IUs my first time using it. And, um, you know, I will say once I went through the USA prep and North Americans, I, you know, I got some farm grade stuff. I was on serostems stems and hematrop. I got all good stuff. And, and I will say I did push it then and I was doing uh, one and a half to two I use every three hours. At every peak of GH, I would keep myself peaked throughout the day with just small little intervals of small dosing. Um, but other than that, off season, whenever I first started using GH, I never did, you know, I don't think you really need much more than four. I think four, if it's really real stuff, legit, I think it's a great uh, dose. So we will see what happens there. So there you have it. That's what I got at the grocery store. Oh, look what we have here. Greens and protein, bison patty, quinoa, keeping it clean with the quinoa here, trying to be healthy, but who knows if it even tastes good. We're gonna find out. Asparagus, Thai peanut sauce. What do you got, Rachel? The Greek? A Greek scramble sandwich and Greek with pita and Ooh, what acai bowl. Acai bowl. So you're spoiling the whole healthy meal with the acai bowl. It's sugar free acai. It looks delicious though. Nice. All right. And we are at Greens and Protein. Just got back from a doctor's appointment. Make sure Rachel's still gonna live to see tomorrow and uh, everything's okay. Be Wild Wings. 11 o'clock at night. What time is right now? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, two diet sodas, please. Perfect, thank you. That's right, you guessed it. Buffalo Wild Wings, post training, shoulder hurts, chest hurts. I think I'm starting to have the heavy workouts catch up to me. And I tried to talk Rachel into going to Wahoo's Fish Tacos, but she's not having that. So we're- like two stars. It's two star. it's terrible. You know what, I am a little cautious about after having it by myself over the weekend because I think they might flash fry the rice, which another place Rubio's does that I found out. They flash fry it to preserve the flavor, I believe, and to get it cooked, basically to make it more flavorful. Even though it's like instantaneous, it still adds fat grams, so I'm pretty sure they do to the rice, which makes me not very happy with that place. But tonight we're gonna keep it clean, buffalo wild wings, and have some chicken salad or something. No surprise here, the MPA special. Bavarian pretzel. Remember, it's post-workout. I know I'm trying to prioritize healthy carbs like the sweet potatoes and the uh, sprouted grain bread, all that stuff. But hey, this is equivalent to white rice, bagel, cell tech. It's all the same. Just chain. Loot 4 enzymes are primed to absorb carbs, so this is the time to have a low-fat, delicious pretzel. No butter, guys. Perfectly dry. Entrees arrive. Double chicken breast. Light mozzarella, because mozzarella is the lowest fat. And then plain Caesar, no added dressing. I usually dabble or sprinkle a little bit on, but not much to add any fat. So not too bad. And Rachel got a barbecue chicken salad, right? And of course, endless refills of Diet Pepsi. No mayonnaise, of course, too. Just uh, honey mustard. Got a package in the mail from two very good friends of mine and clients, MPA athletes. So I'm gonna open it up and see what see what it is. It feels soft, kind of like clothes. Oh. Body said these are his favorite. A Burberry fit. Nice little get up here. Dang. It's in my favorite color. That's a Yay. nice polo. I don't know, though. Double XL. I don't know if your boy Smokey's can fit in here to yet. check it out. Oh, here double. it comes. This is cool. Thanks. Thanks, Vladi. <laughs> I just got to fill out the, fill out this, this double XL. Maybe I can do it. Who knows? It's kind of fitted. That's awesome. Appreciate it, man. Yay. Thank you. I need a nice shirt. Thank you. Yay. It All right. It fits. Looks like I can still fit into a double XL. Doesn't make my arms look 
too spaghetti-like. So thanks, Lottie. This works, man. Appreciate it.